All right, before we move on and actually find discontinuities on graphs, I, I just want to go over the definition of continuity real fast. So algebra definition, you pretty much, you're on the graph and you are continuous at this point A. Ooh, that was bad. There you go, at A. As long as when you're approaching that point, you never have to lift off your pencil or lift your pencil off the paper. And so there's no hole. Uh, and that was pretty much it. So written in, in like our calculus notation, f of a must exist, okay, which means you have to have a point actually at that spot. There you go. You got to have a point at that spot. The limit must exist, which means that when you're coming in from the left and coming in from the right, you have to meet. And finally, where you meet, you know, the limit as uh, x approaches a actually has to equal that point. So you're coming in from the left, coming in from the right, you actually equal the points, that makes you continuous at x equal a. Okay, so now let's take a look at a graph. All right, with this graph, we're going to do two things. We're going to identify the discontinuities, as well as officially give the discontinuities a name. So let's start from the left over here, and we'll we will work our way to the right, identifying any problems we have along the way. So you're on the graph, and you're just, you know, you're that stick figure, and you're walking along, and you reach this point right here. Now we have uh, what we called a jump, because in order to get from here to here, you're going to have to jump and land up here. So at x equals 2, we have a discontinuity. At x equals negative 2, and you have to give a reason. So we'll say because, and there's actually two reasons, or two, uh, two of the requirements for continuity that we violated. The one, which I think is easier to identify, is that the limit as x approaches negative 2 doesn't exist. And that's because the left-hand limit equaled whatever this y value is, and the right-hand limit equaled a different uh, y value. So the limit does not exist. You can also see that there's actually no y value at x equals 2 in the first place. So we can also say f of negative 2 doesn't exist because we don't actually have a closed dot anywhere here. All right, so moving on. Uh, now your stick figure is walking, and they get to this point. Uh, oh, by the way, then this was called a jump discontinuity. Because as the name describes, you have to jump uh, over our problem, so a jump discontinuity. All right, so our stick figure is now here. Uh, all that happened was that this one little point was moved. All right, so we have a discontinuity at negative 1. Now, the limit exists, right? You came in from the left and from the right, and you're going to equal this point. So the limit exists, and f of a exists, or I'm sorry, f of negative 1 exists. Um, but the reason that it is not continuous is because the limit as x approaches negative 1 doesn't actually equal the y value at negative 1. So that's our reason for this uh, discontinuity, and we call this a removable discontinuity. All right, moving on. So negative 1, um, we found our problem. So we're just moving on here. Um, it's continuous everywhere here, right? We don't have any problems uh, until we get to this point where our stick figure now has to step over that point. Uh, there's no y value here. Uh, and that's really our only problem. If there was a y value here, our stick figure could have just walked right over that point and have no problem. Um, but we do have a problem at 1, and it's because f of 1 doesn't exist. All right, And we're actually going to call this another removable discontinuity because basically a point was removed from the graph, it could be moved somewhere else like it was over here, or it could just be removed and, and not placed anywhere. Uh, but point is, is that it is a removable discontinuity.
All right, so now our stick figure is moving and it gets to this point. Notice that there's actually a Y value here, right? That's a Y value. Um, so that exists, but the limit coming in from the left doesn't equal the limit coming in from the right. So we're gonna have another discontinuity. So we have a discontinuity at, what is that, two? And our reasoning is because the limit doesn't exist again. As X approaches, um, what is it, two? Doesn't exist. All right. Now on to our last one. We have our stick figure finally jumped up here right? and is now walking along the graph. Now notice what's gonna happen is it's gonna kinda hit this wall right here. We call that a vertical asymptote. As my stick figure is walking along this graph, basically he's never gonna be able to get over the wall and he's eventually just going to um, fall, right? And uh, we'll never cross the, this vertical asymptote here. Um, so we have a discontinuity because there's really no way for my stick figure to get to the other side without jumping over this wall somehow. Um, but this one has a special uh, name. So down here, I'm gonna say that we have a, a discontinuity at, uh, I believe that is four. four. And it's, because of this, a similar reason, the limit doesn't exist, um, but it doesn't exist for a slightly different reason. It doesn't exist because the, the, it's, it's infinity, or in this case, negative infinity. Uh, and this is four from the left. Um, but if you're gonna equal infinity, it's a, what we call an infinite discontinuity, All right, which I've written down here. So an infinite discontinuity. So we have, we have really three types of discontinuities. We have what we call the jump uh, discontinuity, where you actually have to jump from one line to the other. Uh, we have a removable discontinuity. That's basically where you remove a point from the graph and either put it somewhere else or just remove it completely. Um, and finally, you have the infinite discontinuity, which is where you start approaching a vertical asymptote. Uh, if you had your graph come in from this side as well, notice that it's also going to, in this case, it's going to infinity, but as your stick figure tries to climb it, eventually will fall back down again and never get over this line. Now here's an example I want you to work on. The question is, where is this graph discontinuous? So give it a shot and the solution to this problem and more information about NIU, please visit the link down below. Good luck.